Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Crack Economics and Statistics. This is Professor Atman Shah. I teach economics at St. Xavier's College, Ahmedabad, India. In this video, I'm going to discuss all type of t-tests. So first is one sample t-test, second is pad t-test, and third is independent samples t-test. To find more videos on statistics, SPSS, and economics, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel, Crack Economics and Statistics. So let's begin with the idea of common factors. What are the common factors in all these three t-tests? So first common factor is all t-tests are parametric tests, which means that normality assumption is required to perform these three t-tests. The population from which we are collecting the sample must be normally distributed. Second is all t-tests compare means. So basically we are going to compare the means and find whether there is any significant difference or not. So t-test is used to compare means. Third is all t-tests are useful for small sample. Normally if our sample size is less than 30 then that sample is considered to be a small sample and if the sample size is more than 30 then the sample is considered to be a large sample. So all three, all three, uh, these three t-tests are useful for small samples. Random sampling, we collect the data randomly and third is all observations are independent of each other. Now let's uh, understand the comparison all, of all uh, t-tests. So here we have one sample t-test, pair t-test, independent t-test. So first we are going to talk about the use of all these three t-tests. So the use of one sample t-test is to compare the sample mean with given population mean or observed mean. How to perform one sample t-test in SPSS, you can find the link in the description or on your screen. Now what is the use of paired t-test? The paired t-test is used to compare the mean of two paired groups. Now what do we mean by paired groups? The sample or the observation in first sample is associated with the observation in second sample. So for example, we want to find the effectiveness of a training program on the productivity of the employee. So in that case, we collect the data of an employee before the training program and after the training program. So the productivity before the training program of an employee makes a pair with the productivity after training program. Similarly, a husband and wife can make a pair, brother and sister, twins, these are paired groups. The use of independent t-test is to compare the mean of two unrelated groups, two unpaired groups. For example, the consumption expenditure of rural and urban people or income of graduate and postgraduate students. So in this case, these two groups are completely independent of each other and that is why this test is known as independent samples t-test. Now what is the null hypothesis? The null hypothesis in case of one sample t-test is there is no significant difference between sample and observed mean. In case of paired t-test, there is no significant difference between the means of the paired groups. And uh, null hypothesis of independent t-test is there is no significant difference in the means of two unrelated groups. So you, here you can observe that we are talking about the means only because all these three t-tests compare means. What is the alternative hypothesis? The alternative hypothesis of one sample t-test is a significant difference between sample mean and observed mean. In case of paired t-test, there is a significant difference between means of two paired groups. And in case of independent t-test, there is a significant difference in means of two unrelated groups. Let's understand these uh, three t-tests with the help of example. Suppose we want to compare the mean marks of economic students with the overall mean marks of the university. So here the overall mean marks of the university is our population or observed mean. And we compare this population and observed mean with the sample mean which is collected from the uh, economics students. 
to compare the mean marks of the students before and after remedial classes. So the mark of a student before remedial classes makes a pair with the marks of the same student after remedial classes. So in paired t days, if you want to find uh, the effect of any event, we collect the data from the same observation at two different uh, time points, at two different times. Independent samples t days. In this case, suppose we want to compare the mean marks of male and female students. So here we have two different groups. Two groups are unrelated with each other. So this is the comparison of all t tests. If you want to uh, learn the uh, all t tests in details, you can find the link in the description. And you can also learn how to perform these three t tests in SPSS. Uh, on my YouTube channel. So if you find this video useful, kindly share it with others. And next time, I'm going to discuss the comparison of one-way and two-way ANOVA. Thank you.